Hi everyone, so I thought I'll do this little, I don't want to review on this vlog channel, but on this um, Starry palette, a Starry Color Crush Mini Makeup Palette. And this one is in number four. I actually use colors in here to create this look. Now, I saw this in Wonderful World and I was like, oh, this looks new. So I'm sorry if it's not new and you guys have been purchasing this um, for a while. So, but I was intrigued. I let me see. Every time I've gone in, I've just pretty much just looked for the city color. I've not really checked around new items because no, we have the whole city color um, crease that's going city color cosmetics crease that is going on at Wonderful World. So I happened to have some time. Now I was just browsing around and I saw this, and they were like four, four to six, I think it is. I can't remember. Um, and the had like a neutral one which I did pick up I haven't used it on my eyes as yet but I've swatched these things and um when I saw this I was like this is so out of my comfort zone right you guys know this is so out of my comfort zone and I was like I'm gonna pick it up I'm gonna surprise everybody and I'm gonna pick it up and try it so I was like oh well I kind of had on pink today and stuff so I decided hey I'm just gonna go ahead and pink her eyes my eyes and everything and so I used this color on the lid and then this color in the crease and then I darken it with this black so and then I use the transition for my blush and nude so this is the look that I came up with I mean I'm not a makeup artist people so don't judge me as that so yeah so that's kind of like it um I thought I'll swatch the colors with you I don't have any primer or anything on my hand so I thought I'll do that for you guys and kind of tell you what I think all right, so we're gonna go with the first four here, which is this kind of black with there's more charcoal, and then we have a shimmery white, which is like that. I'm double swiping it as I show you guys. Then this kind of burnt orange color that has gold shimmers in it, and then this kind of royal blue. What what color? What blue we call this again? Cobalt blue. All right. So that's it, and that's matte. These let me see. Swatched. The white has shimmer, the black has some shimmer, but it's not transferring, and then that's the blue. That's the first swatch. So I'm going to see if I could build on it before I move to the other colors. So, the charcoal color, white, that orange, and that blue. So, the blue looks like you can build on it. I'm actually impressed. It's more like a matte color, and I'm um, just cleaning my fingers to and drying it to move along here. Ugh. Make sure it's all dry. So then we go with the green, matte again, and then the pink, which I have one, which is matte, and this gorgeous teal color, and then the burgundy. What I realized now, though, that because I used the pink, it's a bit powdery. I didn't get any fallouts on my face. Quite frankly, I was really shocked. I didn't get any fallouts, but I'm digging into it. I got a little something there. I don't know if you guys can see. But they seem to be picking up much better after use. So that green, that pink. Oh my gosh, my hands slip with that um teal color. So it ended up. Can you guys see that? So I, I'm building. I have to give them justice. So I'm building again. I'm barely touching that pink now. Teal and then that burgundy color. So we're building again. I'm building. So I'm like um, working construction. Right, so you can see the colors there. Second, so the last four, I gotta clean my hands. The last four is actually really, really pigmented. This orange is awesome. I really had the blue was what stood out to me, and I could guess that you can build on it. Let me dry my hands. I don't know if you can build on it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it looks like if you can build on it, and that will be really nice if you can build on it. That would be good. So again for just this it was like less than three us dollars it was 18 tt dollars i i mean some people can get it's like for a dollar and all that kind of stuff if you can i think it's definitely worth it i think a lot of it is a bit like quality and i do 120 palettes and 88 palettes i don't find it's bad i was really impressed with the pink i didn't have fallouts or anything like that and i'm have i have this one for a couple hours as well so I like it and I will definitely be playing around with some of the other colors. I don't know, I just love how these colors thing and this is without base but just swatch twice. So 
I like it. I would recommend you guys if you like these colors to definitely try this. Just use a primer on a base so that some of the colors don't stain your lids and you can get them to pop. A white base is going to make these things like pop like crazy. So I would look out for swatches on my blog with um, base and all of that so you guys can see how it looks but I like it. I really like it um, and I would recommend you to try it.